Hello and welcome to Small Gold, Shanghai Gold Exchange withdrawals update for the month of May 2018. Shanghai Gold Exchange withdrawals were strong again in May. They were 151 tons. Shanghai Gold Exchange withdrawals through the month of May are now at their third highest level in the exchange's history. Let's take a look at what's going on at the Shanghai Gold Exchange. Continued robust physical gold demand, 150.581 tons withdrawn in May, and that's up 9% from the 138 tons withdrawn in May 2017. Now, withdrawals on the Shanghai Gold Exchange are often considered a good proxy for the level of physical gold demand in China. Keep in mind that the People's Bank of China, in contrast, has not added an ounce of gold to reserves since October 2016, coincidentally the same month that they the yuan was admitted to the IMF's SDR basket. Let's take a look at some charts I've prepared for you here. You can see since 2013, levels of withdrawals of gold in the Shanghai Gold Exchange have become elevated, often reaching 200 tons a month. You could see that there was a ramp up period from 2008, and then basically you've had a very solid, robust uh, trading activity on the Shanghai Gold Exchange. Now, how does May stack up against other Mays? Well, May 2018 was the third highest May with 151 tons withdrawn, only 2015's 162 tons, and 2013's 224 tons were higher. Keep in mind that uh, the Shanghai Gold Exchange is, is far more of a physical gold exchange than the COMEX. I prepared this chart. I like to show it. This is pretty much an evergreen chart, but in 2014, as we'll see below, only 85 tons are actually delivered by the COMEX to those uh, COMEX traders who are standing for delivery, whereas 137 tons are actually delivered in a two-week period in 2014 on the Shanghai Gold Exchange. Let's take a bigger look at uh, the Shanghai Gold Exchange versus COMEX. COMEX is clearly not a place where traders go to buy physical gold. They are buying the value of gold. They're buying contracts. They're rolling those contracts over. They very rarely take delivery, as you can see by this chart. In 2014, as we mentioned above, only 85 tons of gold were actually delivered from the COMEX vaults. Only 46 tons in 2015, 222 tons in 2016, and 99 last year. Compare that to the approximate average of about 2,000 tons a year that are withdrawn on the Shanghai Gold Exchange every year since 2014 and peaking in 2015 at nearly 2,600 tons. So where does that put the Shanghai Gold Exchange through May 2008? Well, it is the third highest level, so it's on very good pace. It'll probably do over 2,000 tons again this year. So the Shanghai Gold Exchange, a good proxy for gold demand, physical gold demand in China, doing well. We're seeing decent gold demand in India, though the price is crimping Indian gold demand via its imports, but there appears to be a robust trade in secondary metals as the price rises versus the rupee. Many Indians do indeed turn some of that gold in to get some cash. Now, if you're interested in getting your own gold or silver, uh, you can do so through the Small Gold site, through the affiliate links at Golden Eagle Coin, SD Bullion, Money Metals Exchange. You can compare pricing and shipping on your gold purchase. And Small Gold does get a small commission. It's not investment advice to buy gold or silver or any precious metals. But if you're going to do so, please consider shopping at those sites. Also consider becoming a Small Gold patron. I'd like to have those patrons who donate a small amount but is meaningful each and every month to help keep the channel going to support the work that I'm doing. Also consider donating via PayPal or Bitcoin or Litecoin links below this bit shoot and also below this YouTube. And you can also donate uh, directly from the Small Gold site at smallgold.com. Let's continue with our review of the Shanghai Gold Exchange. So throughout the years, you can see there was, as we mentioned, some big years where you have over 2,000 tons. This year, this chart will be updated on the website. Uh, through 2018, we're at about 900 tons, so we're clearly headed towards another 2,000 ton withdrawal year. Well, that about does it. Um, we did get the Inspector General's report has come in. I have not seen a copy of it. I've only heard excerpts. We will get to that tonight during a live stream. We'll be able to review that as much analysis as I can get through the report. Also, 
We'll try to discuss what uh, the pundits are saying or the media is saying, and then we'll take questions during the live stream. So please join me tonight around 8, and uh, we'll take a look at the Inspector General's report at that time. Thank you very much for joining.